How y'all doing today? Friends, family, YouTube, Facebook. This is Ivan coming at you again with another lesson today on the Sabbath day. Entitled, The Commandment. Today's lesson is entitled, The Commandment. Before I begin, I want to thank the Most High, Ahaya, His Son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and also the Ruach HaKadosh, and that the Most High blesses this lesson tonight. All right? Now, before we begin, let's get into our precepts today. We're going to be in Isaiah chapter 28, verses 9 through 11. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are winged from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Verse 11, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, this people. All right, now let's go to Psalms, Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Let's go to verse 128. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. Let's drop down to verse 134. Deliver me from the oppression of man. So will I keep thy precepts. All right. Now that now that we got our precepts out of the way, like I said, today's title is going to be the commandment. And a little bit about the commandment tonight. Christ is going to give the children of Israel, primarily the elders, the commandment of assembling ourselves together. All right. We're going to be in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 41, and we are going to read verses 1 through 6, and we're going to read line upon line, precept upon precept, all right? Verse 1. Hearken and hear, O ye, my people, saith the Lord, and your God. Hearken and hear, O ye, my people, saith the Lord, and your God. Let's go ahead and preach up that with Joel chapter 2, verses 27. Joel chapter 2, verses 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Now, let's go back up to verse 1. Doctrines and Covenants, section 41, verses 1. Hearken and hear, O ye, my people, saith the Lord, and your God. Ye whom I delight to bless with the greatest of all blessings that ye hear me, that ye hear me, ye whom I delight to bless with the greatest of all blessings, ye that hear me. Now, let's precept that with Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 61, verses 9. Isaiah chapter 61, verses 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Remember, the blessings of all blessings, if we open up our ears and hear the Most High. All right? And ye that hear me not, will I curse, and ye that hear me not 
will I curse. So those of you that are that are not listening to the Most High, He will curse you. All right. Now let's go to Deuteronomy chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter eleven, verses twenty-eight. Remember. We're not opening up, our, opening up our ears and listening to the Most High. He's going to curse us. He's going to give us a curse, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 28. And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods, to go after other gods, which ye have not known. That would be wood and stone. Okay? Now, now wood would be Christianity. That Christianity God would be Caesar Borgia. Okay? Now, that other God would be stone. That would be your Muslim. Okay? That Muhammad. That Allah. That other God. That wood and stone. Okay? Since you don't want to hear Israel open up your ears. The Most High is going to have you serving another God, okay? He's not going to have you serving Him, all right? So if you open up your ears, you'll be serving the correct God. But if you're closing your ears, you're going to be serving another God your fathers have not known, okay? Now let's repeat that. And ye that hear me not, will I curse, that have professed my name, with the heaviest of all curses. Okay? Still in that Christian church. Still calling on Allah. That's that other God there, okay? Verse 2. Hearken, O ye elders of my church. We're talking to the elders here. The, er the elders. You got to open up your ears and hear. Hearken, O ye elders of my church, whom I have called. Behold, I give unto you a commandment. I give unto you a commandment that ye shall assemble yourselves together to agree upon my word. To agree upon my word. What is that word? That word is going to be the, the first stick, Judah, and also the second stick, the stick of Joseph in the hand of Ephraim. Alright? Now, you elders, you have to assemble yourselves and come together and agree on the word. You have to agree on both sticks. Alright? Now, this is a commandment. Remember, the title is The Commandment. That commandment is that we shall assemble ourselves. Now, let's start over at verse number 2, section 41. Doctrines and Covenants. Hearken, O ye elders of my church, whom I have called. Behold, I give unto you a commandment that ye shall assemble yourselves together to agree upon my word. To agree upon my word. Now, we want to precept that with Hebrews chapter 10, verses 25. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the matter of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. That day is here, Israel. Get ready. That day is near, Israel. Please get ready. Now, verse 3. And by the prayer of your faith, ye shall receive my law. Now, that law is the commandment that we shall assemble ourselves, okay? That ye may know how to govern my church and have all things right before me. Now, we need to have all things right before Christ, okay? Now, let's precept that with verse, with Doctrines and Covenants chapter... 42 verses 2 through 7. Doctrines and Covenants. Chapter 42. Verses 2 through 7. 
starting at verse number two. Again, I say unto you, hearken and hear and obey the law. Remember, that law is to assemble ourselves together, okay? Which I give unto you. Again, I say unto you, hearken and hear and obey the law. Now, we want to precept that again with Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 43, verse number 8. We're going to be in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 41, 42, and also 43, okay? Now, we are, we are in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 43, and we're going to start at verse number 8 real quick. And now, behold, I give unto you a commandment. Now, remember, in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 42, he was going to give us a law, okay? Now, that law is a commandment. Let's start over. And now, behold, I give unto you a commandment that when ye are assembled together, remember, assembled together, ye shall instruct and edify each other. Ye shall instruct and edify each other that ye may know how to act and direct my church, how to act upon the points of my law and commandments which I have given. Now remember that commandment is that we shall assemble ourselves together and edify each other. So, if we're reading from the first stick and the second stick, we need to come together and edify each other. We need to show each other things that well, other scriptures that we haven't even gotten to yet, because there's only a couple of people right now that's that's on YouTube or, or Facebook that's that's preaching from the first and second sticks. So you don't have have a lot of people, you know, preaching from both sticks. All right, verse number nine. And thus ye shall instruct in the law of my church and be sanctified. We have to be sanctified in this church, okay? The church of Christ. By that which ye have received, and ye shall bind yourselves to act in all holiness before me. So we got to be holy in front of the Most High, and also his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach there. Verse 10, that in so much as ye do this, glory shall be added to the kingdom which ye have received. Inasmuch as ye do it not, it shall be taken. So... If we're not being sanctified and holy, the Most High is saying that he's going to take away our knowledge, all right? Now, remember, um, we have a commandment that we have to read the Bible precept upon precept. A precept is a commandment from the Most High that we have to read the first thing and the second thing, precept upon precept, okay? Now, remember, he's going to take away that knowledge if we're not reading the Bible and the stick of Joseph in the hand of Ephraim, precept upon precept. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 23 through 25. And it's going to speak about how we're going to lose our knowledge if we're not reading our Bible precept upon precept, okay? He's going to take it away. Mark chapter 4, verses 23 through 25. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye might. It shall be measured to you, and unto you that shall hear shall more be given. So, open your ears, Israel. The Most High is going to give us more. He's going to give us more scripture. He's going to give us more knowledge. He's going to give us more mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, okay? So, and unto you that here shall more be given. Verse 25. For he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. Now, this is Mark chapter 4, verses 23 through 25. Now, let's get a second precept to back this up. Let's go to Matthew chapter 13, verses 11 and 12. Matthew chapter 13, verses 11 and 12. 
He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That them will be the two thirds, okay? For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Now, let's preach up this again. Let's go to 2 Nephi chapter 28, verse 30. Let's go to 2 Nephi chapter 28 verse 30 for behold thus saith the Lord God I will give unto the children of men line upon line precept upon precept here a little and there a little and blessed are those who hearken unto my precepts and lend an ear unto my counsel for they shall learn wisdom for unto him that receiveth I will give more, and from them that shall say, We have enough, from them shall be taken away, even that which they have. Alright? So, if you are rejecting the peace of the Most High, it's going to take away your knowledge. If you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High, He's going to take away your knowledge. Now, let's go back to, let's go back to, Doctrines and Covenants chapter 43 and let's repeat verse number 10 that in so much as they do this glory shall be added to the kingdom which ye have received in so much in as much Salakia, as ye do it not it shall be taken even that which ye have received verse 11 purge ye out of the iniquity which is among you Purge out the sin that's among us, Israel. Sanctify yourselves before me. Sanctify yourselves before me. Now, let's go back to Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 42. And we're going to be at verse number 3. Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 42, verse 3. For verily I say, as ye have assembled yourselves together according to the commandment wherewith I command you. Remember, that commandment was for us to assemble ourselves together. Okay? Now, let's start over. Let's start over. For verily I say, as ye have assembled yourselves together according to the commandment wherewith I command you and are agreed as touching this one thing, and have asked the Father in my name, even so ye shall receive. Now let's skip verse number four and go to verse number five here. Let's get the meat here. And I give unto them a commandment that they shall go forth a little season, and it shall be given by the power of the Spirit when they shall return. Verse number six. And ye shall go forth in the power of my Spirit, preaching my gospel, preaching my gospel, two by two, in my name, lifting up your voices as with the sound of a trumpet, declaring my word like unto angels of God, lifting up your voices as with the sound of a trumpet. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 58 verses 1. Let's precept that here. Now, Christ is saying that we have to lift up our voice like a trumpet, okay? Isaiah chapter 58 verses 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, Zlachia, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. Now we're talking about the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, okay? back to Doctrines and Covenants chapter 42 and let's repeat verse number 6 and ye shall go forth in the power of my spirit preaching my gospel two by two in my name lifting up your voices 
as with the sound of a trumpet, declaring my word like unto angels of God, and ye shall go forth baptizing with water, and ye shall go forth baptizing with water, saying, Repent ye, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, that verse sounds very familiar. Let's go to Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Like I said, we're going to read line upon line, and we're going to precept upon precept, okay? Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, verse 2, and saying, Repent ye, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, let's go back into the second stick. Let's go back into the second stick. Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 42, verse 7. And ye shall go forth, baptizing with water, saying, Repent ye, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? Now, let's go back to Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 41. And we're going to be at verse number four. And I will be your ruler, and I will be your ruler when I come. And behold, I come quickly. And ye shall see that my law is kept. Let's repeat that. Verse 4. And I will be your ruler. And I will be your ruler. Let's precept that. Let's precept that with Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 45, verse 59. Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 45, verse 59. For the Lord shall be in their midst. And his glory shall be upon them, and he will be their king and their lawgiver. Their king and their lawgiver. Now, let's go, excuse me, Salah. Let's go back to Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 41, verses 4. And, and Christ says, I will be your ruler, meaning that he's going to be our lawgiver, okay? When I come, and behold, I come quickly. And ye shall see that my law is kept. Verse number five. He that receiveth my law and doeth it, the same is my disciple. And he that saith, he receiveth it and, and doeth it not, the same is not my disciple, and shall be cast out from among you. So, if we got some Israelites among us that's not keeping the law, Christ is saying that he's going to cast out. He's going to cast them out from among us, okay? He's going to cast them out. Well, anyway, verse number six. This is going to be the last verse in section 48, and we're going to go back into the first stick. We're going to have to break this down. Let's begin. For it is not me that the things which belong to the children of the kingdom shall be given to them that are not worthy, or to the dogs, or to the pearls, to be cast before swine. Let's repeat that. Verse 6. For it is not me that the things which belong to the children of the kingdom, the children of the kingdom are the children of Israel, all 12 tribes, okay, should be given to them that are not worthy. That would be your Gentiles. Are the dogs? Remember, the dogs are the Gentiles. Are the are the pearls to be cast before swine? All right. Now, it's telling us to go to Matthew chapter fifteen, verses twenty-six, and also Mark. So let's go to Matthew chapter. 15 and we're going to read verses 21 through 28 Matthew chapter 15 21 through 28 I'm 24 minutes in 
Then Yeshua went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Now Yeshua, at this time, he's in Canaanite lands, okay? Verse 22. And a woman, Salakia, and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Verse 23. But he answered her, not a word. But he answered her, not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she crieth after us. 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10, verses 5. Let's precept that right there. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 5. These twelve Yeshua sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 15, verse number 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread. What are the children? children's bread are the promises and the covenants. Okay? Let's repeat that. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And cast it to dogs. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Now, let's go back into the second stick here. This was the last verse that I read. Verse number six in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 41. We're breaking this down now, okay? Y'all bear with me. For it is not me that the things which belong to the children of the kingdom tribes should be given to them that are not worthy or the dogs or the pearls to be cast before swine now let's go back to Matthew chapter 7 verse 6 give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you okay now let's go back Verse number 26 in Matthew chapter 15. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. 27. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Remember, the children's bread are the crumbs, which are the promises and the covenants, okay? They're not given unto the Gentiles. The Canaanite woman is a Gentile, okay? Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. Israel is the chosen people. And set them in their own land. And the strangers. And the strangers. The Gentiles. The Canaanites. The Gentiles. The Canaanites.
Canaanites, the Canaanite woman is a Gentile, shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Right now, she's cleaving on to the house of Jacob. Okay? Remember, the Gentiles are going to cleave to the house of Jacob. Now, let's go back into Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 and 2. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers, the Gentiles, shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Lord, Lord, help me, help me. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them, and the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For what? For servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay? Remember, the Gentiles are going to be servants and handmaids in the kingdom. All right? Now, let's go to verse 27. Matthew 15, verse 27. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. All right? Now, she's letting Christ know that she's willing to obey, that she's willing to be a servant and a handmaid in the kingdom to come, okay? She's okay with that. She's not complaining, all right? Now that Christ knows that she's okay with that, this is what he does. This is what he says to her, okay? Then Yeshua answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt, and her daughter, was made whole from that very hour. Okay? Now, remember, the Gentiles are going to cleave to the house of David. I'm sorry. The house of Jacob. Alright? Y'all bear with me. It's, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I kind of wrote some notes here. help trying to you know explain for those who don't read their bible precept upon precept all right now the canaanite woman she know that the 12 the 12 tribes are the head and she's going to be the, te the tail in the kingdom okay she knows that she's going to serve israel in the kingdom and she's going to be a servant and a handmaid all right she knows her place she's not complaining she's being humble Right? She's being humble. Well, anyway, hopefully, I broke down Matthew chapter 15 for you guys tonight. It's 107. Looks like I got a lot of messages on Messenger. Well, anyway, hopefully, you guys was edified today on this lesson. Um, stay tuned for the next lesson. I just got a new book. It's called History of the Church. History of the Church. Um, one of the big, one of the books by Joseph Smith. Um, as soon as I open it up, a lot of nice stuff is going on in here. Um, I started highlighting some things and. Um, Hopefully my next lesson I'll bring this out. Right now, I'm reading about Enoch. About Enoch, and I gotta finish that up. Um, it's a lot of reading to do, a lot of precepting, line upon line, precept upon precept. Well anyway guys, it's 108 in the morning, Sabbath day. Good night and good morning.
tutup.